there's opportunity there to build stuff and there's opportunity to make the shop successful. But the actual confidence in my crew and the work ethic around there, I don't have it yet. Remember that hour long reality TV show called Monster Garage and its host? Yes, that's Jesse James. On the show, Jesse and a team of mechanics and fabricators transformed ordinary, rusty vehicles into breathtaking beauties with unique and unusual features. Jesse's role on the reality TV show was the start of a successful career that afforded him much luxury, fame, and a net worth that would blow your mind. A role at the forefront of Monster Garage definitely wasn't enough for Jesse, as he doubles as a former partner of Austin Speed Shop and the founder of West Coast Choppers. Jesse had had an impressive career as a producer and host for several other TV shows, including History Channel's Jesse James is a Dead Man and Spike TV's Ink Master. Away from the TV and automotive industry, Jesse has taken up arms and now sells luxury firearms. Previously starred in the hit TV show Monster Garage. What, why the change? What inspired you to start this artisan firearm company? Uh, I moved to Texas. It's safe to say Jesse has had his hand in many pies, which has afforded him a luxurious life. Just how much luxury are we talking about? Come along as we take you through the lavish lifestyle of Jesse James. I shut West Coast Choppers down, sold everything and just packed up and split with the kids and dogs and just started a new life. The name Jesse James came into public knowledge after his appearance on Monster Garage. However, before his stint on the TV show and his rise to fame, who was Jesse James? James was born in Linwood, California. He grew up in a rough neighborhood. His parents separated when he was young, so he was single-handedly raised by his father Larry, an antique dealer. James dropped out of college to begin work as a tattoo artist and body piercer before eventually opening up his own tattoo shop. Meanwhile, Jesse knew he wanted a career in the automotive circle, so he began working towards achieving that dream. When he was seven, Jesse's father got him a mini dirt bike, which he rode everywhere. On the days he wasn't riding his motorcycle, Jesse was usually somewhere in the house, tearing things apart to see if he could build something from the pile. While growing up, Jesse's father had an antique shop next to the Harley Davidson parts supplier, which further fueled his growing interest in motorcycles. Jesse said, I remembered seeing a pack of Hell's Angels blasting by our family car when I was about six, and they were all riding choppers. I remember all the noise and all the chrome. It was the coolest thing I ever saw. I knew then that I was going to be involved in motorcycles in some way. In the early 1990s, Jesse began customizing motorcycles and building bikes in his garage. This hobby eventually became a full-time business, and James founded West Coast Choppers, a company that specializes in building custom motorcycles. West Coast Choppers quickly gained a loyal following, and Jesse became known for his unique and extravagant designs. He began building custom cars, and his work gained the attention of the Discovery Channel, which offered him his first TV show. Monster Garage aired from 2002 to 2006, and Jesse became a household name as the host and producer of the show. Jesse James is a successful businessman and television personality known for living a luxurious lifestyle. This includes his collection of cars, which is said to be quite impressive. Jesse owns various high-end vehicles, including sports, classic, custom, and motorcycles. Aside from making cars for commercial purposes, he also built some fantastic whips for himself. Let's take a quick peek into his garage to find out some of the notable vehicles that have been reported to be in his collection. In the array of cars, Jesse owns a Jaguar XKR, a badass car for a badass man. Extremely fast and has good visual appeal, just recently, James blacked out the entire vehicle, from the windows to the rims, making it look like something you only get to see in movies. As exquisite as the car appears, James uses it as a daily driver. Another of his cars is a custom Chevy Silverado, a combination of sleekness and speed. Safe to say, this right here is one of his most preferred cars. The inspiration to build this beauty came from his days on the West Coast. He knows his onions and rightly infuses the number of off-road traits into his car. Jesse seems to love his cars black, just like his XKR. Jesse also blacked out his Silverado truck. From the rims to the windows, every part is draped in black. 
Jesse has eyes for exquisite vehicles, and his decision to acquire a Hennessy Ford Raptor in 2010 screams it. Right in the middle of a chaotic marital crisis with American actress Sandra Bullock, James got himself a brand new Hennessy Velociraptor 575. He shelled out an extra $11,000 to boot and deck the truck right after purchase. After Jesse finished working on the truck, Hennessy put it through a dyno test, and the Velociraptor produced 496 horsepower and 473 pound-foot of torque. Sitting pretty in James's garage is a Chevy Impala, a status symbol and an iconic popular car. Chevy Impala is a blend of class, speed, and everything good, which explains why Jesse and everybody wants this beauty in their collection. From Dr. Dre to the fictional ghost hunter Dean Winchester, many celebrities own a Chevy Impala. Hummer never goes out of touch, at least not to the old soul James. Jesse has a thing for trucks, and GMC Hummer H1 is one of the many in his garage. Although the market has evolved and a Hummer might be deemed old school, for car enthusiasts like Jesse, old is gold. In fact, he at some point restored a customized Humvee, a car he later donated to Soldiers Angels, a military support nonprofit organization. Jesse's 1952 Chevrolet style line is a reminder that he knows his onions. It's proof for anyone doubting his skills that Jesse is on top of his game and has a thing for yesteryear hot rods. This particular car has a unique engine under the hood installed by Jesse himself, although it was later rebuilt in La Cresta, California. Overall, it seems that James's garage is a true automotive paradise filled with a diverse and impressive array of vehicles that reflects his passion for cars. On top of that, Jesse is known for his love of watches and owns many high-end timepieces from luxury brands such as Rolex and Petit Felipe. In addition to his impressive car collection and love of luxury watches, Jesse is known for his expensive homes. He has owned several properties over the years, including a Texas ranch and a California mansion. These houses are flanked with luxurious features such as pools, guest houses, and garages for Jesse's collection of cars. Jesse's life is riddled with tumultuous personal life and a bad habit of cheating on his partners in his several marriages. His first marriage was to Carla James, with whom he had two children. The couple divorced in 2002. James's most high-profile marriage was to actress Sandra Bullock, whom he married in 2005. However, the marriage ended in 2010 after it was revealed that James had cheated on Bullock with multiple women. After his divorce from Bullock, James married drag racer and model Alexis DeJoria in 2013. The couple divorced in 2018. James has also been engaged to tattoo artist Kat Von D, but the couple ended their engagement in 2011. James has been married four times and has faced criticism for his infidelity. Despite his personal and legal issues, Jesse remains a popular figure in custom car and motorcycle building. His company, West Coast Choppers, has a loyal following, and he's known for his unique and extravagant designs. James has also continued to work in television and remains a well-known personality in the entertainment industry. He's also a collector of luxury watches and other high-end items, and is known to enjoy the finer things in life. Overall, it seems that James's passion for cars and motorcycles extends to every aspect of his life. His impressive collection of vehicles and luxurious lifestyle is a testament to his success and love of all things automotive. James has had to deal with scandals at different stages of his career, which led him to close down his shop, West Coast Choppers. He eventually moved to Texas, away from the hostility, to partner with Bob Bleed at Austin Speed Shop. He has equally faced controversy and legal issues throughout his career, including allegations of tax evasion and bankruptcy. However, closing down his shop did not affect his net worth, as it still sits at $100 million. James owned other businesses, including Cisco Burger and a firearm business called Jesse James Firearms Unlimited. Aside from that, he also produces shows under his production company, Pay Up Sucker Productions.